Uh, hi everyone. I know it's been a while. In case you forgot, I am Duke of the Bump. And this is a game called Abyss Odyssey. And I figured as long as I have... Or as long as I'm sitting here in front of my desk playing the game, which I've been doing a lot of lately, I might as well plug my microphone in. You know, why not? Uh, let me think of the chat. I doubt anyone will actually come um, to the chat because it's it's such such sort of notice. But just in case, S Y N C, Kapal. All right, great. Uh oh, McGack too. Welcome. Hopefully you can tell me if you, if you can hear me. Um, I figure you probably can. All my all, all my settings look correct, but you never know. Uh, crap. Let me minimize this. It's been a while. I'm uh, I don't have the the routine quite down pat the way I used to. I guess it hasn't been that long. It's only been like a month. I've I've had longer hiatuses than that. Uh, Alright, so, I've been playing this game a ton over the past two or three days. Uh, I've gotten all of the achievements except for three. I've unlocked the secret character, Pinkoya. Uh, the three achievements I still need are to uh, max, max out three of this character's special abilities. He's a ghost monk. And I also have to capture a level 40 enemy, which I'll explain that as I go. And I have to complete the game in Nightmare Mode. Which I wasn't really planning on doing Nightmare Mode, but I watched somebody stream it the other day. And honestly, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't seem impossible. It seems like something I might be able to do. Uh, but for now, I'm going to try to level up the Mad Monk. Uh, Mad Monk, the Ghost Monk. He's the only, he's the only character I haven't really played extensively. Ah, crap, it's saying the Adobe Flash plugin has crashed in the Twitch chat room. Hmm, I hope it will mess everything up if I just reload this. I mean, I have X chat up, or Y chat, I should say, but I also have the Twitch chat up just in case, you know, I have to moderate, which I don't think I've ever had to, like, actually ban it, anybody. I think, I think a few of the mods have, like, deleted deleted messages a few times, but that's the extent of the moderating I've, I've needed in my chat room. I have a, I have a pretty good group of, uh, of viewers. Oh. So, uh, I started... Wait, what? Apparently I started the game in two-player mode. I don't know how I did that. Let me tell you, getting my controller working with this game was kind of a nightmare. No pun intended. Um... Uh, I have to use X360CE to emulate the Xbox 360 controller, and that wasn't working for a while, and I had no idea why, and I tried to use the in-game controller mapping, and that didn't work, and it was just a big mess. Uh, finally, I discovered, thanks to someone in the Steam forums, that an old version of X360CE works with this game. So yeah, the first night I bought this game, I couldn't actually play it because my controller didn't work. I could use the keyboard, but this is the kind of game I couldn't imagine playing with the keyboard. Uh, so, I am the Ghost Monk. I am level 8. Uh, I, I have a lot of money. Because... Ah, crap. Koss is in the chat room and he's saying Twitch refuses to work. Uh, is Twitch working for you, McGack? Kosh just left. I guess he's trying to refresh. Oh well, I'll keep narrating for the benefit of of anyone watching on YouTube later. So I have quite a bit of money because I I just did like three runs in a row where I was playing one of the other characters, Pinkoya, who's level 40, like level 46 or something now. And I tried to go for the uh, capture an enemy level 40 or above that achievement and it, I failed miserably uh, all three times. Uh, no, I guess it was just two times. The one, one of the times I had to quit in the middle of the run and it didn't work. Oh yeah, it's working now. Great. Awesome. High cost. Um, 
So yeah, I figured I would take a break from that run and I would try to level up uh, the Ghost Monk. And I don't think he, he has a real name, he's just the Ghost Monk. There are kind of three, uh, well there are three characters in this game and they all have pretty different fighting styles. Um, for anyone not familiar with this game, it is a procedurally generated 2D uh, beat em up slash fighting game slash kind of action roguelike thing. Uh, this game is really cool. I like this game a lot. Uh, a lot of people have complained because the game is kind of light on content. Uh, hey Goss, what's up? How's everyone doing? I am doing well, thank you. Um, I have an awesome new chair. My, my old desk chair broke and I couldn't really sit comfortably in front of my computer for longer than like 10 or 20 minutes. Uh, but I have a really good new chair that I can comfortably park my ass in for hours and hours. Uh, so yeah, this is the character I am the least familiar with. Uh, actually, I think I only unlocked one of his additional special attacks. Um, so I might not be... I might not succeed on this run, actually. Uh, I've gotten pretty good at beating the game with the other two characters, with Katrian and Pinkoya. Katrian is the default starting character. Um, she has a much faster, uh, more agile fighting style than the monk. Uh, okay, oh wait, this isn't an altar. Okay, so this is a special item. These pop up. Oh wait, I can still check on my stats here. Good. Alright, so I just got uh, Voodoo Bones, which increases my weapon damage, and if I have if I had a weapon with a curse buff, then that would, uh, the curse time would be greater and the cooldown would, would be lower, but I, I don't have that. But uh, I get 15% weapon damage anyway, so that's good. Alright, so, oh yeah, that's right, I do have, okay. So this is the skill screen. The, the combat in this game... I haven't played Super Smash Brothers, but people, like even the developers, say they are basically emulating Super Smash Brothers with the combat style. And just to give you a quick overview, you have, okay, so this is my main regular attack button. This is neutral, this is holding forward and attacking, neutral, forward, this is holding up and attacking, this is holding down and attacking. And in addition to the attack button, you have uh, special attacks, and that's what this screen is configuring. Uh, when you start the game with the Ghost Monk, this is the only ability you have, and it, I don't. I honestly, pr I probably won't use this that much because the projectiles don't seem that useful in this game. But uh, I also have this one, which uh, I equipped. This okay. This is holding up and special attack, and that has a really long wind up. But you don't have to. You don't have to wind it up for the whole time. If you do wind it up, if you do get a full wind up on it and you manage to hit an enemy with it, it does significant amounts of damage. And this is holding down in special attack, which is like a kind of a rising uppercut thing with the sword. And you also have air attack, so that's neutral. This is holding forward. That's just a sword slash. This is holding up. This is holding down. And uh, you have a double jump. And you hold the trigger buttons to block while you're blocking you can hit left and right to, to dodge or you can use the shoulder buttons the uh, on my controller the L1 and R R1 buttons to dodge um, and that's basically it there's six special attacks you can unlock for every character I only have three of them for the ghost monk so far uh, and you find those during the course of uh, exploring the dungeon oh hey sore thumb wow Long time no see. It's good to see you, man. Uh, so, uh, enough stalling for time. Let's, uh, let's get, let's get rolling. I have to admit, I was really bad at this game the first time I, I played it. Oh, there's one other mechanic I, I forgot to explain. Let me, uh, go back here to the altar and view my skills. Uh, down at the bottom, you have special cancels. You start with one of those, and, uh, you get skill points every couple of levels. And you can use those to either uh, 
You can add buffs to the skills, which I don't have any skill points at the moment. Or you can level your special cancels up to three. And what the cancels let, let you do is, for example, uh, okay, so that's a special. That was a cancel. I hit dodge right after the special to, uh, to cancel out of the animation. It plays a lot like a fighting game that way. Uh, and you can do it with that one or that one. And you can also chain special attacks into each other. So I can do that one and then that one. And that's basically how you get the big combos in this game. Uh, so, my, uh, my explanation out of the way, I hope it was satisfactory. I was really bad at this game when I first started playing because I didn't really understand the combat mechanics. I've never been a big fighting game player in general, let alone Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I, <coughs> excuse me, I played Super Smash Brothers once when I went to a friend's house and I basically just played it because everyone else was playing it. And it was a four player game and I had no idea what I was doing. And I did not really have fun with it. And I've sort of had a bad taste in my mouth for Super Smash, Smash Brothers ever since then. But playing this makes me think I might actually enjoy that game. One, once I actually understand the combat mechanics. And, uh, and I know what I'm doing. Uh, and I just hit level 9. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so I picked up a key. And there are chests you find. Uh, some of them are locked. Some of them aren't. There are silver keys and gold keys. Silver keys are for... Uh, they're like gates that you find that, uh, that you have to open up. And gold keys are for unlocking chests. Uh, one thing you kind of have to learn is uh, when the enemies have in invincibility frames and when they don't. Uh, by the way, an enemy dropped this weapon. I can't use this. This is a weapon for Pinkoya. And uh, each character has their own special weapon type. Well, each, each of the three main characters, I should say. There are other characters you can play as, and I will explain that as I go. I didn't really do any preparing before I entered this dungeon, which I guess I probably should have. I could have, uh, I could have bought some stuff to help me, but I, I'm doing okay so far. These first two abilities I, I unlocked as the monk are pretty good. So this is not really a roguelike. Character progression does not disappear, disappear after death. You lose any items you, you have, and you lose, um, I guess that's it. I mean, you have to start the dungeon over every time, obviously. You lose items, you keep your gold, and you keep your experience. So, you know, sort of a, a pseudo-roguelike. A foglike, if you will. Uh, this is a fire barrier. If I had an ice weapon, I could get through here, and there's probably good stuff in there. Uh, but I do not. And this over here, this is the exit down, obviously, and this is the map. And this changes every time the dungeon uh, resets. The light pink area areas, like the one I'm in, are easy, and it goes moderate and hard, as you can see. Uh, there's like a devil icon on the map, that's one of the big bosses of the game. Uh, the yellow room has like, uh, well, that's where you unlock the third character. There's a fountain that you have to throw gold into, and once you spend like 30,000 gold, you unlock the third character. And I I've already done that. Uh, yeah, your character level is still the same. Uh, it's more like Rogue Legacy than an, an actual roguelike. So, you know, it's, it's a roguelike with, uh, with some character progression. Um, uh, and th there are other icons on the map that do special things, and I'll show those off when I get there. But, uh, this has been level 1, and I made through I made it through this level, uh, without taking too much damage. This game is not that difficult. It was, it was difficult for me, because I didn't really understand the mechanics or anything. Uh, but once I got it, it clicked, and, uh... I, like I said, I didn't really enjoy the game at first, but I enjoy it a heck of a lot more now that I know what I'm doing. Uh, this is a secret room. You can see on the map down there in the bot. well, it's not there anymore, but there was like a little gray uh, outcropping. Yeah. Or was there? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, there is. There's like a, a little gray section that, that indicates that there's a, a secret area here. And it's a special weapon. Uh, Rusty Scimitar, damage 13, poison level 1. Nice. 
Uh, gold actually isn't plentiful in this game. The only reason I have as much as I do is because I did three, uh, well, two and a half runs before I started streaming. And uh, items actually cost quite a bit in this game. Uh, like, I have like 40,000 now. I haven't found a shopkeeper yet, but when I do, uh, you'll see that things in this game are pretty expensive. Oh damn, sorry Koss, I didn't mean to keep you up. Um, you know, I, uh, feel free to go, to go to bed, I won't be offended, and this will be on YouTube later, so... Uh, so, it's not like, you know, you won't be able to, to see what happens. The enemy AI is really bad. Like, the enemies are really bad at avoiding traps. They're really bad at not getting hit by my Ultra Slash. But they do a ton of damage. And, uh, when they can, when they can gang up on you, then, uh, you can get hurt pretty bad. And the ways to heal yourself in this game are not very plentiful. Uh, as you can see, enemies are dropping little red orbs that replenish some of my health, but it's like, it's 25 health or something. And I have 1700. Uh, so yeah, this game, I wouldn't call it easy. Uh, I mean, even, even now that I know what I'm doing, I still die pretty often. Uh, well, I guess not pretty often, but uh, I am just in the easy section of the dungeon right now. Once I get into the harder sections, I probably, uh, I'll probably have to eat my words here. Oh, and there's also a throw. I, I forgot to mention that. When the enemies block, you can uh, you can put them in their place by th by throwing them around. I poisoned that guy, but he died immediately afterwards. All right, so this is one of Katrian's weapons. She uses rapiers. Um, the ghost monk uses, I, gu I guess that's like a two-handed sword. And Pinkoya uses like spears or like pole arms, I guess. Watching the recording is not the same as the live thing. Oh, that's true. You do miss out on the interactivity. Oh, crap. Uh, this enemy, it's like a, it's called a Pudutar, P-U-D-U-T-A-U-R, and I guess, I guess it's like the deer equivalent of a centaur, and, uh, I, re I really like how, how this game looks, by the way. I like the enemy design, I like the environments. Uh, this is, this game is by Ace Team, which is the company that made the Xeno, or the developer that made the Xeno Clash games, and the game Rock of Ages. And I never played any of those, but I've heard, oh, you asshole throw a rock at me. Uh, I've heard good things uh, about their previous games. Th this is the first game of theirs that really looked like something I would be super into. Basically, if you suck at the game, you can grind levels and eventually become strong enough to beat the game. Well, not really. All going up levels does is it lets you power up your abilities, which is nice, but this, this isn't the kind of game you can just button mash your way through. Uh... Ooh. Fire Sword 21? Wow, uh, that is pretty good. Fire level 2. I mean, maybe... I mean, you might be able to just button mash your way through the game, but if you are not good at the combat, it would take you just uh, an excruciatingly long time. <clears throat> so, I do not recommend it. I recommend... Uh, I recommend uh, getting good at the combat. Which, you know, I, I'm still not great or anything, but but I have the basics down. Oh, there's also a Nightmare Mode, and I mentioned that I still need the achievement for that. Um, I, I doubt I'm going to try Nightmare Mode tonight, but when I do, uh, it will probably be a bit more interesting. Um, of course, I am still early in the dungeon. I, I need, to, I need to, to not get cocky, just because I'm, I'm doing okay. That's the uh, silver key that unlocks the uh, uh, the gates. Usually, when you find a silver key, or possibly always, there's going there's going to be a gate on the same level. So, and they're almost always like towards the bottom of the level. <clears throat> Had difficulty at times with Rogue Legacy. Yeah, Rogue Legacy is kind of that's kind of more what what Koss was talking about, where you can just grind out levels and eventually you'll be able to beat it. Well, which, you know, I still, have fun, I still have a lot of fun with the game, but it doesn't quite have the, the, the depth that this game has, mechanically. 
Like it has a lot of uh, like the meta game has a lot of depth, but the what you actually do in the game is not as deep as this game. But you know, I, I like them both for for very different reasons. The nice thing about that is uh, it, it it's a guard break move. Oh, you get a little bit of health every time you level up. Oh crap! I did not even see that spider there. I did not see that spider there either. All right, so there's a guy over here who I kind of ignored. Uh, you meet this guy uh, occasionally going through the game. Basically, he will offer you "quote unquote" advice if you pay him a hundred gold, and I always do. What goes around, comes around. So yeah, that that's that's his advice. However, every time you do that, you get a random n amount of experience. Um, I've seen it as low as one experience and as much as five hundred experience. So I always pay the hundred gold because you know why not? Oh, wait, I signed the wrong thing to the skill point. Uh, I need to assign mana to that. All right, so your upgrades to to your attacks, um, you can increase the amount of damage it does, you can increase the amount of mana you get from special attacks, or I don't really understand how this works. Shield part of the attack to prevent interruption. I, I've tried, I've experimented with this one and I haven't really noticed that much of a difference. I always pump mana into all of my abilities, uh, and you will see why shortly, now that my mana meter is full. This is a shopkeeper. He has a uh, pretty good weapon. See, this is this is what uh, and I, a weapon costs as early as I am, and as deep uh, the deeper you go, the more expensive things get. So the weapons can get pretty pricey. Like the best weapons in the game are like thirty thousand, and it took me like three complete runs through through this game to get what I have now. So. <clears throat> Rogue Legacy is not an easy game. Oh no, not not at all. Uh, I'm not su suggesting it is, but you can kind of make up for a lack of skill just by putting a lot of time into it. Like, I mean, that's basically how I played the game. I mean, I was I've n never really been good at Rogue Legacy, but I just leveled everything up to where I was an unstoppable killing machine. Whereas with this game, I had to actually learn the combat mechanics and you know learn how to play it. In order to, uh, in order to, to actually finish it. All right, so I'm going to buy a health potion. Um, I have an antidote potion, which I I, I always forget to use antidotes when I, if you're poisoned or cursed or uh, I think those are the only two status effects you can have actually poison and curse. You can use an antidote to get rid of it, but the status effects don't last a terribly long time. So, uh, so I usually forget. So I'm, I'm buying that. I'm thinking about buying the sword actually. That's pretty good. Oh, you can get frozen too, but being frozen lasts like just a couple seconds, so it's not really worth using an antidote on. Yeah, what the heck, I'll buy it. So I have a level 3 ice sword that does 24 damage, which is pretty good. Still getting my 15% weapon bonus from that. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so... Apologies for uh, for taking my sweet time. Uh, these little blue orbs are mana, and I can't collect those because my mana meter is full. And as soon as I get into another fight, I'll show you what mana does. Well, another real fight, not a fight with these little butterfly things. Those don't count. So your mana meter always starts at zero, and it always builds. Oh, this is that gate I was talking about. So I use my silver key on this. And I get a ton of gold. Alright. Oh, also, uh, one of the reasons I have as much gold as I do is because for most of those runs that I did before I started streaming, I had an item that increases my gold fine by 30%. So that was a huge boost as well. I love Rogue Legacy, but I think it would be a million times better better if it had permadeath, i.e. if you die, you lose everything. I mean, I like those kinds of games. You know, I, I love Splunky, obviously. That's one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know if permadeath would really work that well with Rogue Legacy. 
just because you're so weak before you uh before you start leveling leveling up your abilities If I had a camp token, I could put a checkpoint here. Uh, there are three levels of camp tokens, level one through three, and depending on what level it is, you you uh, revive there whenever you uh, whenever you die, up to three times. <laughs> oh, that was mean. He was frozen and helpless, and I just whacked him right out of the air. I'm starting to to really like the ghost monk. But yeah, I don't have a camp token, so I, I will not set that up. I, I'm waiting until I get into a big fight with multiple enemies before I uh, before I use my mana. Here's another weapon that I can't use. Obviously, you'll need to change the game mechanics to account for that. Right, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I see what you're saying. So, a rogue, rogue legacy that would be balanced for permadeath. Yeah, that, that would be fun. This is a pretty nasty looking trap. That was an air recovery. You see how I flashed white there when I got hit? Um, that I, I hit dodge right after I got, I got hit, and uh, you can recover before you hit the ground, which is useful in those trap areas. Okay, here we go. So once you have maximum mana, you hit your attack button and your special button at the same time, and it does that. It's a big AoE attack. <laughs> that guy died in the lava. I told you the enemies weren't very smart in this game. Okay, so since I use the AO AoE attack, you can see they all left behind a little glowing orb. You pick that up, and it gives you their soul. Once you have an enemy's soul, you hit down on the D-pad, and you play as that enemy. You can play as every enemy in the game except for one. Uh, you can capture their souls in the manner that I just did, or you can... Uh, there's a shopkeeper in one of the towns that you can buy basically like a summon from oh crap it's a boss I was too busy busy flapping my gun gums to notice uh, so I mean basically you buy like a pokeball <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of what it that's kind of what this is you know I, I have a pokeball that lets me uh, lets me turn into this this bird person and you can hit, hit down any time to change back uh, Obviously, when you are when you are a creature, you don't get the mana regen that you do when you uh, when you're playing normally. Uh, but you, but you still collect mana uh, from the little blue orbs. And I was cursed just now, and now I'm frozen. Uh, when you're cursed, basically everything you do is just way slower. Ah, crap! I should have blocked. Oh well. And uh, when you do have an enemy soul, they, their life bar is separate from yours, which is a hugely important thing uh, when you play this game. Like, using the captured enemies effectively are very important to surviving in this game. Alright, <clears throat> so uh, just to show off this enemy, uh, neutral attack, forward attack, low attack, high attack, special High special. That's not a very special kick. <laughs> and low special. And air attack, air attack, air attack, air attack. Okay. So can I use this sword? Uh, oh, that's the exact sword that I have. Um, I feel kind of bad for spending money on it now. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much this game. Uh, you keep going... Oh! Uh, this is a special stage. Um, they're mapped. They're marked on the map with a little question mark. And when you enter one of these stages, coincidentally, it gave me the bird person again. But it can give you, I think, any of the monsters in, in the game. And basically, it's just a one-stage um, like wave of enemies that you have to defeat <coughs> with, with whatever monster it gives you. And if you if you're successful, then it, this is another way you can get a monster soul is by succeeding at this uh, at this little arena battle. If you're not successful, then it does a pretty good amount of damage to you. So it's a good idea to to try to win these, and these can get pretty tough. Uh, I still 
depending on what monsters I have to fight, I can still fail these pretty regularly. Luckily, it's giving me <laughs> it's giving me pretty easy enemies. Um, there are some really really tough ones you, you can get into. You you might notice that I don't I don't block much. Um, crap. I should probably block more. But in my experience, all blocking does is make the enemy throw you. So, I have not had a lot of luck blocking. Because throwing is the only attack you can do to an enemy while it's blocking, as I just demonstrated. Crap! Alright, I'm actually going to use a potion. <clears throat> it's, it's worth it, in my opinion, to use a potion in the arena rather than dying, because either way, I mean, either I use a potion now, or I die, and then I have to use the potion when this level's done. Alright, see you later, Koss. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry for, uh, for the late stream. <clears throat> so, since I succeeded at the arena, it not only gives me that monster's soul, but it also fully heals me. So... That's uh, that's one of the few ways to to actually heal yourself a lot in this game. Uh, there are health po health potions you can find, but uh, they're not that plentiful. Playing as a Diggle from Dungeons and the Dreadmore, yeah, uh, I can see the similarity. I don't know. I think this thing's a lot creepier than than the Diggles. Like all everything in this game has like a slightly weird kind of unsettling style to it. That I mean, I really like it. Come on, get up here. I don't know how I climbed up there without any arms, actually. That, that's that's a pretty good question. I, I just kind of lift myself up with with my chin, I guess. Oh man. <laughs> oh, there's an antidote vial up there. I have two that I haven't used yet, but might as well pick it up since I have room in my inventory. So the reason I put all of my stat points into into mana is because being able to capture enemies as often as possible is uh, is key to succeeding in this game. Of course, I, I don't have that many stat points with with the monk yet. Crap! You oh you jerk! Come on! I don't like fighting in tiny enclosed spa spaces like this. Oh, and this guy has a gun. Oh man, I took a beating there. Oh well. My main character is still still at full health, and that that's what's important. This game also has co-op, which I haven't put any time into that. Um, a lot of people have complained, crap, complained about the co-op because it has friendly fire, meaning your attacks hurt your teammates. Uh, so, aw oh man, so the developers responded by patching in the option to turn friendly fire off. But it seems like the game would be way too easy with friendly fire turned off. Like, aw oh man, I fell, I fell through that platform. Like, they balanced it for, for co-op having friendly fire. Like, the, the game's, you know, it's supposed to have that. So, so when you turn friendly fire off, it, uh, it won't post your score to the leaderboard. Which is a pretty good trade-off, I think. Alright, so... What what am I looking at here? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm actually going to go to the right. Because I have no reason to fight the boss in this run-through. And I want to hit... Uh, I want to hit that yellow room. And I want to hit the rooms with the violins. So, yes, I will... Uh, I will continue in this direction. But I'll see if there's anything else on this floor first. Hey, hey! Get away from me! When you're poisoned, uh, you occasionally... Uh, <clears throat> you, you take damage, which it's not a lot of damage, but it also, like, stuns you. So, if you're, like, in the middle of a combo, it, it inter interrupts you, and it's 
It's pretty annoying. Man, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm probably not going to get the achievement and going for in this run. Um, I'm probably going to have to oh health potion, uh, do a, do a couple, just to get them get the monk up to a high enough level to. Uh, the, the achievement is for maxing out the skills in in three in your three equipped abilities, which I don't know what level I have to be in order to do that. You don't you don't get a skill point with every level up. It's uh. It's every, it seems like it's every two or three. Alright, so my mana meter is about halfway full now. Um, so hopefully I can get that up high enough to capture another enemy. And then, you know, you have the advantage of, of having their full health bar to, uh, to help keep you alive. Alright, so you saw the violin on the map. And uh, that means this guy is hanging out on this floor. His name is Paganini, and he sold his soul to the devil, and uh, he's sort of like the devil's proxy now. Uh, he uh, he offers me something in exchange for, uh, basically in exchange for hunting me later. And this is based. This whole game is based on uh, Chilean mythology because. The team that made it, Ace Team, is three brothers from from Chile, uh, but Paganini, I believe, is from an Italian legend. Uh, so, kind of a cross-cultural uh, storyline. You. you know what? What the heck? Yes, I've only done this a couple of times. One time he gave me an item that was kind of useful, and one time he just gave me a ton of money. Oh! Oh! I guess there's a, there's a skill you can get from him. I did not know that. I'll have to do that with my other, uh... With my, with my other characters. Uh... Alright, so what, what did I get? Oh, okay. So I will re replace my fireball with this, and I also I have another skill point now, so let me see what I want to assign that to. Alright, so this is the new skill I just got. It's kind of a charge forward and uh, an uppercut. Not sure how I feel about that. It's kind of a long animation. And it doesn't look like you can really cancel out of it. Except right at the very end there. <laughs> yes, charge into the buzzsaw. Good idea. Uh, I mean, I'll keep it. It's better than better than the fireball, and I will upgrade this with more mana. So now every time I use this attack, uh, it gives me thirty-five percent more mana than it would normally. And at, when I max it out as much as possible, it would give me fifty-five percent. <clears throat> and you kind of want to use your specials in this game, you know, a lot, like. I have uh, the other two characters, Catrian and Pinkoya, pretty well maxed out. <clears throat> like I have the three, the three skills that I want to use with them. Of course, apparently I don't have all of their skills. So, uh, hey. So uh, I'm, I might want to uh, make the deal with the devil with both of those, with both my other characters, and see if uh, s see what their other skills are like. But I, I have their mana all the way up on that. And uh, my mana meter recharges pretty frequently. That's a uh, that's a really tough enemy, by the way. Uh, he's called the Jackal, and when I when I do take an enemy soul, his is one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite enemies to play as. Oh, <laughs> so many would jump down into the path of my sword. Nice. Well, take advantage of being frozen. Level 12. Nice. Gaining levels pretty rapidly here. How 
However, uh, my life is looking pretty, uh... Oh crap. <laughs> These are fish that fly through the air and freeze you at random. Aw, oh, <laughs> dang it. Oh yeah, there's another guitarist on this level. Neat. That means both of the uh, both of the skeleton musicians are on this floor. Crap! Walk right into that. Oh no! Use my potion. This game does have kind of a uh, a corpse run mechanic, and if I die, uh, I'll show that off. You. Uh, Basically, if you die, one of the soldiers uh, from the surface is summoned to uh, to find one of those altars. And if they can find one, then you're resurrected. You lose any consumable items you have, but the soldier can carry your weapon and one other equipable item. Uh, so, you don't lose everything, which is nice. Heck yeah, bro. Finding the bad in others does not make yourself good. That's a lesson a lot of people on the internet should probably learn. Oh hey, my mana meter's full. Nice. Alright, so where am I going here? <clears throat> uh okay, so there's another Paganini below me, and I haven't actually I've never made two deals with the devil in one game. I don't even know if that's possible. So I'll be interested in finding finding that out. So I want to save my mana for a good enemy. Oh, by the way, you can only capture enemies that are your level or below, which is why the capture level 40 enemy achievement is pretty tough because there are only a couple enemies in the game that are that high level. Oh no, <laughs> that was nice. I kind of uppercutted my way right over that uh, that trap. Alright, this is definitely not a corner that I want to be in. No! Stay away from me. You know what? <clears throat> I think I will take a jackal. So now all I have to do is kill him and he is, his soul is mine. Finding the bad in others does not make yourself good. Yep, it's true. Not necessarily. Uh, yes, I have a key. Awesome. Ooh, health potion. Lots of money. Man, I have a lot of money to spend, and I found very few shopkeepers. Oh, hey, Morris, what's up? Alright, I think there was a way I could have gone in this direction that I didn't, didn't go. Let me, uh, let me go back and make sure. Alright. Oh wait. Uh oh, that's that's one of cat oh wait. I didn't see that soldier sitting there. I could make it on my own. It was one of those damn spiders that got me. Really? The spiders crawling on the walls that die in like one hit? Uh nothing personal, bro, but you probably deserve it. Just take this and go. There's no hope for me now. Mana potion, nice. Oh wait, my inventory's full. Uh, oops. Wrong button. So I will drop one of these antidotes because I always forget to use them. Take the mana potion. And I guess I'll go ahead and use it, actually. Why not? And pick the antidote up again. Game looks really damn interesting. Yeah, I like this, I like this game a lot. I didn't like it that much for the first couple hours because I, I didn't really get it. But once it clicked, uh, I, I enjoyed the heck out of it. Just go home from work. Oh, that's right. You're working the, the late shift this week. That sucks. I should probably go in and use this potion, actually. But I am pretty close to leveling up. Uh, if you're close to leveling up, you don't want to waste your potion because you get a little bit of health from that. Wait. Was, was 
Was Paganini on this level? Did I miss him somehow? Maybe he doesn't actually show up if you already made a deal with him. By the way, apologies to any Italians in the audience for the way I, I'm butchering the pronunci pronunciation of Paganini. Aw oh, man, there's a shopkeeper in there and I don't have a silver key. I must have missed something on this level. Enemies don't really respawn or anything, so... There's no, uh... There's no real penalty for going backwards, retracing your steps, except for, you know, the traps. Aw, oh, man. I uh, tried to hit that thing, but didn't work out. Alright, so... Dang it! Should be a Paganini on this level and a Silver Key. Wait, did I go this way? Yeah, I did. Hmm. Well, I am, uh... I'm gonna pop my potion. My health was getting dangerously low. You do get more health when you level up. It's not, it's not like a ton of health, but, uh... It's enough... Okay. Here's what I missed. I missed, uh... A bowl with branches growing out of it. Oh man! <laughs> it just stayed frozen a half second longer. I would have nailed that sucker. Oh well. You jerk. I hate the jackals. Yes, wave your sword in the air helplessly. No, 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 no. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I totally forgot I had this guy. <laughs> Yep, there's that silver key. Ha! Huh, mirror match. What now? So uh, I forgot to show off the jackal's specials. Uh, I'll do that as soon as I kill this guy. Oh, level up. So, still don't have a ton of health, so I'll pick up these orbs with the monk. Uh, so, he has normal attack, forward attack, high attack, low attack, Special, high special, low special. That low special is pretty brutal. You can uh, you can get the enemies in a pretty nasty combo with that. I like comboing that one into that one, or the other way around. That one into that one. Oh man, I don't have anything with fire in it now, so I can't melt this barrier. I gave up the monk's fireball. For, for that ability that I haven't really used yet. The company that made this game Italian. No, they're they're Chilean actually. They're uh, they're three brothers from Chile. And most of this game is based on Chilean mythology, but the Paganini character is based on an Italian myth. So there's probably other like stuff from other cultures that I'm just not not aware of. Oh hey. Oh wait, it's the same guy. Okay, never mind. I should I shouldn't have said that guy deserved to die. That was that was rude. But I mean, the spiders die in like one hit. I haven't seen any like giant spiders in this game. <clears throat> I mean, I guess there might be one, but I'm pretty sure I've seen every enemy. Okay, I spent way too much time on this level. On this level, I have to uh, I have to figure out the way to go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have the silver key, silver key now, so I can go see what that shopkeeper has. I have all this gold burning a hole in my pocket. Where, man? What the heck? Okay, this is the this is the entrance to this level. Oh, I guess I guess I need to go this way. Al. Yeah, here we go. The levels in this game aren't terribly complex. They don't have the depth that, like, Splunky's level generation has. But, uh, you know, it's it's enough to keep it interesting. To keep it just different enough every time to, uh, to make it so you don't feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again. Alright, Shockheap, what you got? Not much. Um... I think stuff actually gets more expensive the higher level you are too, because this is way cheaper than the the stuff would have been with Pinkoya. Maybe it was just because I was uh, I was 
barn them down into the dungeon. All right. Uh, well, <clears throat> this is just like the sword that I have, except that it's fire instead of ice. I could go break that fire barrier with it, or I could switch my one ability out for my fireball. But I, I don't think it'll be worth it. I will buy this uh, this camp token. And okay, so this protects me from enemies' freeze attacks. I'll buy this rabbit foot too. Avoid six percent of enemy attacks. Okay. Do I have any skill points to spend? No. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to set this camp token here. And that also uh, brings some of these soldiers down to, uh, they show up randomly and help you out with battles when you use a camp token. So I can die up to three times and I'll, I'll respawn at this altar. Have I checked out the co-op at all? No. Uh, I was saying er earlier that the co-op looks, uh, looks kind of frustrating because... Well, it has friendly fire. They patch in the ability to turn friendly fire off. But it looks like, I don't know, it seems like it would be too easy without it. But, uh, ring of fire resistance, nice. But with friendly fire, it just looks like it would be super frustrating. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if this area has a name. This is the yellow area on the map. I just call it the City of Gold. Uh, oh, I guess I can't talk to this dude anymore. But, uh, before you unlock Pinkoya... Well, I, I guess I could still throw coins in the fountain if I want to, but since I already unlocked her, I don't think there's a point. Uh, you have to throw 30,000 coins in that fountain to unlock the last playable character. Which uh, took a little bit of time, but it wasn't too bad. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't know where that, that resist curse thing came from. I guess it was in one of the chests. You don't find items in the chests very often, so... It's kind of, uh... Oops. Wrong button. It's kind of unique. Oh yeah! <laughs> I totally forgot. You can you can use a stick to do attacks as well. Which, uh... Seems like that it would be a weird way to play this game. But, uh... You press in on the stick to pick up items. And okay, my inventory's full. I want to just drop this antidote so I can pick this up. My health is getting low, but I have a jackal with full health and I have a full mana bar. So once my jackal dies, I'll, I'll be able to immediately capture another enemy. So I won't have to worry about taking damage myself for a good long time. So yeah, no, there's, there aren't any real fights in this game, or in this level. The only enemies are those, uh, like the dragonflies that are kind of floating around. This guy used to talk to me before I unlocked Pinkoya. He would say like, I mean, he would basically tell me about Pinkoya. She's a uh, she's a Chilean, uh, I guess like a sprite, like a fairy of some kind. She's like a she's a symbol of good luck, I guess, and she's also a naked woman, <clears throat> which makes me feel kind of. And weird about playing her. I mean, mechanically, she's great. She's probably my favorite character. We have another uh, another challenge stage here. But you know, I feel a little weird playing like this gratuitous. You know, I mean, she's posed all provocatively and stuff. It just seems a little unnecessary. The skeleton is one of my favorites. Um, I don't think I like him more than the Jackal, but he's pretty good. I mean, that was one attack right there. That big combo that it did, that's holding down and hitting special. He just does a huge string of attacks, and if they all hit, it's awesome. But the problem with it is you can't interrupt it. And, well, I guess you can, huh? I didn't know you, I thought you could only cancel out of, out of that attack at the end. Well, that makes it way more useful. The skeleton is also one of my least favorite enemies to fight. So you notice how she's just st standing there and not really ganging up on me? The AI is kind of programmed not to gang up on you in the normal difficulty. Uh, in nightmare mode, all bets are off. Like they will crowd around and they can stunlock you and if you, I mean if you're in a bad position, 
you can easily lose like half or three quarters of your life bar just by getting stunned by a couple enemies. Luckily these enemies are pretty easy anyway so I would probably be okay. Alright, so if I wanted to, I could take the Skeleton Soul. That's that attack. That's the high special. That's his neutral neutral special. Which, like I said, I hardly ever use projectiles in this game. I mean, that's cool, but I do like how versatile... Oops. Trying to pick up the monster's soul while I was still a monster. I do like the Jackal, because he has two abilities that just combo into each other so well. It's... Oh wait, no! Crap, I'm thinking of a different enemy. Who- Hold on. Who is this? This is- Okay, this is Balta. He's not the Jackal. The, the Jackal looks kind of similar, as far as the pose and stuff goes. So, um, I think I'll actually take the Skeleton then. Yeah, the Jackal has two specials that just combo into each other so well. You can just stunlock the enemy and just juggle them and it's so broken. That's a jackal. The guy in the hat. Oh wait. Uh, okay, so this is uh this is Paganini. He is he is hunting me. Sir, I am being hunted. And uh he's a pretty tough enemy, but he's not uh he's not unmanageable. Luckily the game gave me a soldier to kinda help me out here. Oh you know what? I haven't I haven't captured this guy yet. I need to do that. Oh I can't do it with the monk because I'm not high enough level. Dang it! If I was one of my other characters, I could have gotten him. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to do that at some point. There are quite a few enemies that I haven't captured yet. Just because, you know, you don't always have, uh... You don't always have the mana when you need it. Like, it does take a pretty good bit of time to, uh, to build up your mana. Alright, so I wasn't, I wasn't even a high enough level to capture the Jackal yet. That's unfortunate. I'm, I'm used to playing uh, Pinkoya, who's like in the mid 40s. See, there's the little gray outcropping on the map that indicates that there's a secret door here. They're not all marked like that, but uh, seems like most of them are. All right, so I, I can get a health boost that gives me plus 200 life, but I would have to give up my fire resistance. I think that's actually a good trade. I will take the extra life, and I will go back to Skelly. Crap, I just wasted all that mana. That sucks. Oh. For some reason, when you're, uh, when you're in the monster form, it goes by your stats rather than your main character's stats for the, for the weapons, which is dumb because the, the monsters can't even use weapons. They just have... You know, whatever, whatever, whatever they're born with. I just love how fast the skeleton is. He's probably the fastest uh, character in the game. I feel kind of bad that my soldier friend died, but that's uh, that's war for you. War as hell. Ow. This game does have uh, s uh, occasional slowdown issues, which uh, it's, it's a little framey right now. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it gets really bad. Like sometimes it drops into like the single digit frames per second, and I'm not sure what causes it to do that. It ha you, oh my god, that dude just juggled me to hell and back. I mean, it's, it's basically the same as the spearmen who have been helping me. It's just the undead form of it. But all, all of the attacks and stuff are the same. He has, uh, he has like, grenades he can throw at me. I am getting my butt kicked. Wow. Oh my god. I just took so much damage. And I'm pretty sure my soldier friend died because this guy's coming after me now. 
Haha, <laughs> I messed up. I shouldn't have wasted my mana. Oh no. Well, Skelly died, but luckily Monk still has nearly, nearly full health. Probably not for long though. Alright, I got him. Nice. Oh, I'm at full. Wow, I have over, over 2,000 hit points with that um, ring of HP up. That's pretty good. I've never got, never gotten that item before. Like, I've had the opp opportunity to buy it, but I've never, uh, never... Like, there's always something else that was more important than, than the Ring of Health. Alright, well, I could buy a Sea Witch, which would give me... It would give me a summon. The Sea Witch isn't really great, which is probably why she's only 2,000 gold. Um, I don't have a charm weapon. The sword's not really better than the one I have. So, every shopkeeper also has a fight shopkeeper option. Which is it's kind of weird that it's a menu option and not just something you initiate by by attacking them. But I, I guess they don't want you to... Like, if I was fighting an enemy over here, I wouldn't want to accidentally trigger the shopkeeper as well. And fight, fighting the shopkeeper, you would think, in, in most games like this where you can fight a shopkeeper, you can uh, you can steal their stuff. But unfortunately, that's not how this game works. Uh, the only reasons to fight the shopkeeper are to capture him, which I've already done. Well, in a different playthrough, obviously. And if I had enough mana, I might capture him because the shopkeeper is not a bad character. Hey. But, uh... He also gives you a lot of experience, which is why I usually <clears throat> usually fight the shopkeeper after I'm done sampling their wares. Uh, I, I didn't see it pop up, but it was like 300 experience or something. So I think that's a glitch. I think the shopkeeper is supposed to drop something when you fight him, because I saw one of the developers allude to that in the, in the Steam forums, and they said that they were planning to fix that. So I guess that'll come in an update. He sure is. 150 XP? Not bad. Let's see, where am I? Alright, so... <clears throat> I have two hard levels, then two moderate levels, and another hard level, then the boss. Uh, I, I will have a chance to get a soul in the uh, in the next area if I go down, which is nice. I think I will, I will take that opportunity. And it's the jackal. Excellent. <clears throat> I don't know how I mix this up. Mix this guy up with the uh, the Balta or whoever. That guy kind of sucks. So the combo that I like so much with the jackal. As soon as I'm no longer frozen, as soon as I can get away from the corner, the combo is. <laughs> well. It's not working so well against the bull, but uh, it's that, and then that, and then that. And you just kind of spam that ad nauseum. You do want to mix it up with some normal attacks, because if you do tease them too much, they do see the AI does seem smart enough to learn how to adapt to that. So it's kind of like a fighting game in that respect, where, uh, where, where if you cheese the AI, they'll, they'll learn what you're doing and... They'll, they'll put a stop to it. A lot of big enemies in this one, wow. I really like the Wood Golem. The Wood Golem is probably my favorite enemy to play as, and uh, the Jackal is probably my second favorite. The Wood Golem is just, he's huge and slow, but he, he hits like a ton of bricks. Like his, his rolling attack can just can just wipe out a row of enemies. I mean, it's not like a one-hit kill, but it is is—it is a ton of damage. You jerk. Oh, no. Okay, I'll use a potion. Fine. <sighs> Do you want to make this hard? Oh, man. I still have... I thought that was... I thought those were the last two. Oh, crap. I died. So, yeah, those, uh... 
Those arenas can get pretty tough, especially when the area difficulty is hard. So yeah, I just lost like half my health, more than half my health, because I because I failed that, that challenge room. And I wasted a potion. Kind of a bummer. I still have a ton of gold too. I was expecting to have spent more money by now. Bummer, says Thorthon. Eh, it's not that big a deal. I can probably, uh, I can probably recover from this. I just have to, uh, I have to get my mana up and capture another enemy, and uh, I'm back in good shape. Pow! I love that attack. They just go flying a million miles. Did he die? He dropped an orb. Oh. Oh crap. I should probably use the block dodge more than I, more than I am. Aw. Wasn't strong enough to break his guard. That sucks. Nope. I guess he's not that dumb. Aw. I should have uh, left him frozen so I can hit him with one of those. But Alright. Still haven't killed all the enemies in this area, apparently. See, if this was nightmare mode, those guys would have come over and said hello way sooner than, uh, than they did. Ow. I'm surprised I'm getting a bird person this this deep in the dungeon. Usually you, you only see them at, at the higher levels. I love it when they die and freeze at the same time. Oh, all these antidotes I'm not using. Okay, my mana meter is almost full. That's nice. And I have some buddies to help me out. Very cool. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be high enough level to capture any of these guys. I could probably get the, uh... The other enemy. Uh, I forget exactly who that guy is. He's an undead something or other. It's like an undead soldier or... I think I'll do that. Because he's only... He's only level one. Yeah, th this is just uh, just a soldier. I have a gun. I have kind of a spinning attack, and I have like a, fl a flying kick. Honestly, I would have rather had the spearman, but I'm not sure if I was high enough level to get him either. The spearmen are pretty good. There's a potion up there. You. <laughs> the soldiers are actually not great. However, it is another health bar, which is the important thing. Oh. Inventory full. Uh, see you later, Antidote. Wait. The heck is that? Am I on fire? There's like a trail of smoke coming out of me. Oh, it's happening to him, too. Is that like an effect of one of these items or something? I didn't I didn't notice that before. That's really weird. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so how close am I to the boss? Three more levels, two of them are two of them are moderate. Things are looking pretty good. Can't use that weapon, so I will just proceed. Secret door down here.
Man, I feel bad for the poor shopkeepers who are just walled in here for eternity until I come to rescue them. Played like the cask of Amontillado. Forgive me if I got that horribly wrong. Um, I can be immune to curses. I can get a worse weapon, or I can get a much worse weapon. Or I can get another camp token. But I have a level 3 camp token up there, so... I, uh... I think I just want to fight this dude. Get some experience. Do a million points of damage to him. I think I like all of the main playable characters in this game. I'm not sure which one is my favorite. Because honestly, even with only having two of the monk's abilities, or three I guess, he gave me like 330 experience. Nice. Even with only having a few, a few abilities unlocked and they're not powered up terribly much, the monk is still kind of a tank. Oh, I hate those. Those faces are the worst trap in the game. Hey! Trying to get the, uh... Trying to catch me unawares. I, I really don't like the soldier. I'm probably going to, uh... To lose this guy pretty quickly. His moves don't really combo into each other very effectively or anything. He has that dumb gun. Which, y you can cheese enemies with a gun sometimes. Just stand super far away from them and just shoot them repeatedly. But, um... <coughs> excuse me. It doesn't, uh, doesn't always work and that's not, that's not a fun way to play the game. So these faces... Do that. Another rabbit's foot. Weird. Well, when you have... When you have the item already and you pick up another one, it, uh... It just... One of them just disappears. Normally, you drop the other item to pick that one up, but I guess since I already have it, it's just not going to worry about it. So these faces, they can spawn in some pretty terrible places that make it really difficult to progress. Um, I think it's something they need to fix in the game, to be honest. Like, a, fa a face can spawn over one of those bottomless pits, and, uh, in a, in a setup that's really difficult to get get by without getting hit by the face and getting knocked into a pit. I have I have lost a lot of life late in the game because of those faces, and uh, they're just annoying in general. Also, the enemies do not know how to uh, how to deal with the, the face traps at all. I mean, they're pretty bad at at dealing with the faces in general. Or dealing with traps in general, but the fa the faces are especially bad. That's a that skeleton warrior that I hate. Crap. And I, I told you that soldier wasn't going to last very long. Okay, silver key. There's probably a gate towards the bottom of this level. Nice. That was good timing on my part. Like I was about to ruin my day. But uh... But I took him out. Alright, so... I could go left if I wanted to, wanted to, but there's really no reason for me to go that way. It would just uh... It would just make things take longer. I don't like these bulls. I don't like fighting as them. I don't, or I don't like fighting them, and I don't like playing as them. Oh crap! Use a couple potions there. Ah oh, man, a skeleton too. I might be in trouble.
forgive my silence as I concentrate. Okay. One more to go. Okay. Man, my health is not looking too good. But my mana meter is almost full. That's nice. Problem is, I won't be able to capture any really good enemies because I'm still too low level. And a ring is this. Oops, wrong button. Oh, curse resistance level 2. No, I'd rather have the health. Don't have a camp token. Have I gotten any skill points? No. Secret wall? No. Alright, well. I have, uh, I have another moderate room coming up. But this was a moderate room, and I took quite a bit of damage here, so. This is not necessarily going to be a cakewalk. Oh, hey. Curse the warlock. This is all his doing. A stalactite broke loose right above me. It was no accident. This place is cursed. I have something for you. When we win, we'll put it on the warlock's grave. Oh, nice. Man, I'm really glad the soldiers who fight with you aren't as incompetent as these guys. Because, I mean, a spider, a stalactite, they're not the best soldiers Chile has to offer. I guess that's why they're mortally wounded. They just couldn't cut it. Dang, no shopkeeper. Usually there's a shopkeeper beside most of these altars. I'm not sure why there hasn't been one reason. Like, there was only one or two. Well, at least I'll have a ton of, mon ton of money left over for the next run. Nice. That is a that is a very powerful move. Ow! I hit by shotgun shrapnel. I don't think you're supposed to call that shrapnel. Oh, I can capture the guy with the shotgun. He's he's low enough level for me to for me to nab him. He's better than the uh, the pistol soldier, that's for sure. Ow! Stupid lost soul. I'm assuming that's what that thing's called, since you know it's a flaming skull and everything. No, you! Oh my god! Oh, I could get the. Uh, oh no! I could get the mummy as well. Ow! So low on health. Did I get that guy? Phew! Oh hey, I leveled up. Nice. Right when I needed it. Alright, so... So this is the undead firefighter. He's just just like the firefighters that, that fight alongside me. I have a shotgun. That's neutral special. This is high special. This is low special. It's like a slide. Uh... Normal attack, forward attack, high attack, low attack. Nothing special, but the shotgun is pretty good. Better than the pistol, anyway. They actually nerfed the shotgun in uh, in one of the patches. And I didn't pick this game up until after the nerf happened, so I, I don't know how good the shotgun used to be. Oh my god. Oh, um, Jesus! Just kill this thing! Problem with the shotgun is... You can't jump and use it. Wow, that was embarrassing. I took so much damage from that. Wow, I should just give up video games forever. How did the Flaming Skull deal, deal that much damage to me? I definitely don't want to go that way. I mean, <laughs> honestly, the... Uh, 
the undead firefighter. I mean, he is a level one enemy, so I'm not expecting great things from him either. Slightly better than things than uh, than the soldier. Oh no, that was the wrong <laughs> that was the wrong move. I used the jump right into the fireball move. No, 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 oh my god. I need to remember to use my antidote next time I get poisoned. Okay, so this is what happens when you die. It spawns either a soldier, uh, a fireman, or the spear guy, depending on which character you are. Since I'm the monk, it spawns a fireman. But it also spawned a spear guy next to me to help me out, which is pretty nice. Why, why, why is my character red? That's weird. Alright, so now I have to find... Well, first, first of all... I should probably help this guy kill this enemy. So this guy, the guy I'm playing now is exactly like the... Uh, Exactly like the undead version that just that I just died as. I have a shotgun, I have that, and I have that. So nothing special. Uh so now I have to go find an altar. And I believe there was one on this level. <clears throat> because I complained that there wasn't a shopkeeper next to it like there usually is. Oh yeah, I have a uh, great I have a silver key and there's a uh, there's a gate down there. I have to remember to check that out. Oops. Yeah, the, the soldiers, they're, they're basically just, uh, you know, I've won the game with the soldiers, barely. Uh, but in general, you're not supposed to do a lot of fighting with them. I guess not all magic in this place is evil. This helps our cause greatly. You're worth at least ten soldiers. I'll keep clearing ahead. Please stay behind and don't risk your life. I will. And if you fall again, I'll find another altar and bring you back. I promise. So I could have just skipped through all that dialogue, but uh, since I'm showing it off for the internets, I figured I would let you uh, let you see what the characters have to say. So I lost all, all my consumable items and all my mana, but I still have the uh, the sword and the two items that I had. I, di I lost my ring though. For some reason the the soldier could pick up the, the rabbit's foot and the voodoo bones but the health ring that I had for some reason disappeared. And uh, I always I always think I can stand on those things. I'm glad that there are non-supernatural dudes who are heroes too. Yeah I really I really like that aspect of this game. Like uh, it's a very unique take on the corpse run. Like it, it gives you it gives you a second chance, and uh, you know it shows that we're all we're all in this together. Got my revenge on that dude. All right, uh, charm upgrade, but I don't have a charmed weapon, so. No point in picking that up. Was there a was there a lot chest on this level? I don't remember. Um, uh, if there was, it would have been way higher up, so I'm not going to worry about it. Gotta press on. I have full health. I have no mana. I have a pretty good sword. Uh oh, and I have one more room before before I fight the warlock. One more hard room. So, when you get one of these things instead of an altar, you cannot revive the character here, which I learned the hard way. It has to be the actual altar, not the uh, the weird pedestal thing that gives you an item. <sighs> the skulls never gave me that much trouble when I was playing as Pinkoya. See, this is one of the hidden walls that's not marked on the map. Because because the, the whole area is just uh, one straight away, so 
Come on, shopkeeper. Come on, health potions. Nope. Another rabbit's foot? It's like the third one I found. Well, the second one I found. I bought one. Poison upgrade. I could get the poison sword, but it is way, way less damage than, than the sword I have. So, I mean, I don't have a cursed weapon or a poison weapon, so there's really no reason for me to keep either of those. Well, 10% weapon damage, and I think this is 15. So yeah, I'll stick with the voodoo bones, even though I don't have a, don't have a cursed weapon. Alright, was there anything over to the left here? Oh! I kinda cheese that guy, but he deserved it. I have to say, the, the freezing effect works really well with that attack. Because I can freeze them, and then while they're helpless, get a huge, huge hit on them. Which is nice. Sometimes the music cuts out. I guess it's a, I guess it's a bug. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Away from me! Thanks, Spearman. I still took a lot of damage, though. Yeah, I am used to playing a much higher, higher level character with a lot of options. I mean, the options, the options I have as the monk are pretty good, but uh, I have a feeling there are better powers still waiting to be unlocked. Oh, jeez. See if I can, uh, nah, I was gonna say, see if I can trick these guys into going into the lava. Oh, I can kick that guy into the lava. That worked pretty well. I can't get the health that he dropped, though. I mean, I could, but I would take take damage trying to get to it, which would, uh, which would, uh, defeat the purpose. Oh no. Oh no. Crap. Guess it's up to me now. Okay, so this time I just get the rabbit foot and the sword. So I guess, I guess when you die you always lose one of your equipped items. Because when I had three I could only pick up two, and when I had two I could only pick up one. Plus the weapon. I did pick up the weapon, right? Yeah, okay. Level 24. <laughs> nice. Just headbutted that dude. I have a silver key, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh. Just the exit. And I have no reason to go that direction. Because... That would just, uh... That would give me... Another room. It would just delay the, uh... Delay the inevitable. Can I pick up the poison bracelet? I could. I'd have to go all the way back up to the top for it. But, uh... But since I don't have a poison weapon, I, I guess it's still a 10% damage boost. So I should I should go back for it. Was it was there an altar on this level? I forget. Or was this the the level where it was just the uh, where it was just the item? Yeah, just the item pedestal.
there's always a pedestal before the boss though so so as soon as i as soon as i go down i should be able to uh should be able to revive myself of course i won't have any mana or any uh creatures to summon and i'm a pretty low level with a character i'm not really that familiar with so uh, it's kind of up in the air as to whether whether this will be a success or not I will do my best. If I was if I was the actual character and not the soldier, there would be a little bit of opening monologue saying that I have entered uh, where the warlock lies or something like that. I forget exactly. Thank God you're all right. Well done, soldier. I'll keep clearing on ahead. I'll be right behind you. Good luck out there. Unfortunately, he won't follow me and help me fight the boss. Gives me one medium health potion, which uh, is better than nothing, I guess. But this is this is going to be a tough fight. I am infinite. I am power itself. And I am vengeance, here to strip your power away. <laughs> So, basic story of this game is that everything you've seen so far is part of the warlock's dream. He's uh, he's dreaming all these monsters into existence, and the two primary playable characters, Catrian uh, Kat and the monk, are both parts of, parts of the warlock's dream as well. So, uh, crap. I really, really hate this damn fish attack. Because you can block it, but it does it hits you enough times that uh, that it will break your block. So the best thing to do it is avoid it if possible. And you, you can't always block fast enough. Crap! And he really likes spamming that stupid attack too. Use my potion, I guess. No! You can't cancel out of an attack with a block either. That's one thing I always try to do and it never works. See, I, I, I got hit so many times that my shield needs, needs some time to recover. Like you, you can cancel out of an attack with another attack or with a dodge. He's not even halfway dead yet. This is not looking good. Now, when I said that guy wouldn't help me, uh, I meant he won't come down and fight with me, but he will... Uh, no! He will take over for me if I die. So, so once I die, the stupid soldier still has a chance of killing the, war the warlock, which is pretty cool. And you roll out of a block at the last minute. Uh, yeah, you can dodge out of a block, but uh, it doesn't always work the way the way you expect it to. Like you can you can do that basically. It's not really a roll. Maybe I can just get into a good position and shotgun spam this guy to death. That would be a pretty unsatisfying way to win. I tried to use one of those specials on him. I was right next to him and I missed.
Nope. Well, you can't win them all. Oh wait, that's right, I have the checkpoint. God, it's way back. Oh, how far back is this? How far back am I? Oh my god. It is past 9 o'clock. Uh, I was not expecting... Well, I guess this is about as long as I was expecting the game to last. I would like to continue, but unfortunately I'm going to have to go to bed pretty soon. So, uh, Thanks to everyone who watched. Um, there weren't that many people in the chat room. Thanks for a thumb for hanging out. Thanks to everyone watching on YouTube. Uh, uh, it was a pretty good run. I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, like I said, I'm not used to playing the monk at all. Uh, I have not... That was the first time I've ever made it to the warlock with the monk. And uh, for being as low level as I am... Uh, I feel pretty good. I still have a ton of gold, and I am ready to uh, take the Warlock on again next time. And uh, I succeeded in my goal of leveling up a little bit. I got a few more skill points. Uh, only five more skill points to go until I unlock the, uh, the achievement I was going for. Uh, so yeah, thanks to everyone who came. Uh, hopefully there will be another stream again soon. Uh, I love all of you. Good night. been so long that I forgot my hotkey for ending the stream, so I have to alt-tab out and stop the stream. Goodbye.